נוהגים שלא לערוך נישואין כלל מיום י"ז בתמוז עד תשעה באב, שהם ימי בין המצרים. אך מנה גידות הספרדים לערוך נישואין מי"ז בתמוז עד ראש חודש אב, ונמנעים מלישא אישה מליל ראש חודש אב עד אחר תשעה באב. וכשיש צורך אפשר להקל אף לאחינו האשכנזים להתחתן מי"ז בתמוז עד ראש חודש אב. והמנהג להימנע גם אם הוא בחור שעדיין לא קיים מצוות פריה ורביעה. says רב עובדיה יוסף that there is a custom for Ashkenazim not to make a wedding during those three weeks. Ashkenazim are strict not to make wedding those three weeks from 17 of Tammuz whenever we start fasting until Tisha B'Av. But the Sephardic opinion is allowed to get married all the way to Rosh Chodesh Av. Means next, up to next Friday if you will be invited to a wedding you have to know this is a Sephardi wedding right away. Even without looking at the last names of the invitation. Right away you will know this is a Sephardi wedding. Bukharian people, some of them used to be mahmir, like Ashkenazim, not to get married those three weeks. But some say, no, in our generation, you know, many times whenever you postpone the wedding, you say, let's do it after, let's do it after. Gemara says, Shema ikademenu aher. Somebody else might take the girl, somebody else might, chaz v'shalom, make a second thought. So therefore says Ravadia, yafa sha'a ahad kodem. It's better always to get married as early as possible. Especially our generation, that there is a lot of Problems goes out outside in the street. People forgot to dress up. Right now, this week is very hot. Oh, oh person have to care for all about his eyes. So, so since they forgot to dress up, the person has yet sarara. He says, the faster a person getting married, the better it is. Especially that a person have to fulfill the mitzvah of purvu, to have one boy and one girl. If he doesn't get married, how is he going to fulfill this mitzvah? Therefore, up to next Friday, if you're going to be invited to a wedding, you should be allowed to go and listen to the music and dance with the music. But you're not allowed to listen to music. This is not allowed to listen to music if they don't have a seudat mitzvah. But if they have a seudat mitzvah, like a wedding, or so to bar mitzvah, or so to siyum asechet, any of these situations that there is a seudat mitzvah, whenever this seudat mitzvah, a person is allowed to listen to the music, is allowed to dance with the music in honor of the mitzvah. So in case you're going to be invited, you're allowed to go to the party.